Apex Legends is a fast-paced first-person shooter. You have so many people all on one map and so many things happening all at once, it's no surprise to anyone that mistakes are going to happen. Mistakes are a thing that everyone makes. Your favorite pro player or streamer makes them all the time. But what makes them a good player is that they are able to recognize that they have made a mistake, analyze it, learn from it, and then never make it again. So hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the mostest 8 seconds gaming in today's video i'm going to be going over three common mistakes that every low elo player makes these are the type of thing that hinder your climbs and keep you hard stuck these things are for the players who are wanting to get into higher tiers and push through any plateaus they may be having and the first tip obviously is to like the video and subscribe to the channel we post high quality apex legends content including tips tricks and news but now in all seriousness, let's talk mistake number one, and that's underestimating how important a good team comp is to have. Now, for the people who are in lower ranks, I'm talking bronze to gold and even sometimes in platinum, you can get away with not thinking about team comps. People here don't understand how to leverage teams that are missing key aspects. Like say a team you're fighting doesn't have a Wraith, Octane, or Ash. They have no team mobility and you can easily single someone out on their team. For these lower ranks, instead of forcing people to play legends they may not be comfortable on, just play what you feel you will do best with. Over time, you will start to be able to see where you and your team are lacking and can start adding in new legends as you see fit. But if you want to start playing certain team comps right away, and don't mind learning new ones right off the hop, here are some solid team comps that will cover two of the main playstyles players have and be viable on all maps. First up is for people who aren't very aggressive. You're sick and tired of being third party. you'd rather loot up in a safe draw spot, learn where the ring is going, and then go to a spot that will be in zone for a while. For this, you need a legend who can get your team from point A to point B safely, being your team mobility in case you get caught out or the ring pulls away and you need to make a rotation. For this, pick either Wraith, Ash, or Octane. Wraith is the best option in the current meta, but Ash with her passive still being very overpowered is a good choice as well. Next up, you need a defensive legend to help you hold those buildings when you get to them. Someone that deters players from pushing you because of how hard you make it. Traps are a pain to fight through and there's only two legends to pick from, those being Caustic and Watson. My choice for this one though is Caustic because he's just so strong right now and his gas can stall people out for such a long time. Plus, Caustic gas traps aren't countered by Crypto. Watson fences and pylon are. And lastly, you're going to need a recon legend in order to get ring knowledge. There are many to pick from, Pathfinder, Bloodhound, Valkyrie, Crypto, but right now with how strong Valk alt is, my suggestion is to pick her up. She allows for such flexibility when playing because you can take weaker spots if forced to and use her alt to reposition late if need be. But what if you're more of an aggressive person? You'd love seeing your name pop up in the kill feed and nothing makes you happier than being killed leader. Well, don't worry because I've got you covered. First off, once again, you need team mobility. This is to help you and your team get in and out of fights quickly, allowing you to push as a team and become a ball of death. Options are still the same, Wraith, Ash, or Octane. And once again, I gotta go with Wraith on this one. She's just such a strong legend in the current meta and there's a reason that she has the highest pick rate. Second off, you want a strong support legend, someone to anchor down for your team and help you reset quickly after fights. There are two legends that fit this role, Lifeline and Gibraltar, but the very clear choice here is Gibraltar. He offers way more to a team than Lifeline and you can do much more around him. And last, you need a strong second offensive legend, someone to back up the Wraith and be in with them to fight. You can play around with a few legends here, but the one that I would say to use is Bloodhound. The scans give you so much information in fights and allow you to know exactly where everyone is playing in order to counter them. Now, those are really cool if you have a team to run with, but what about if you're a duo or even a solo player? Some people don't have the option of playing with a full three stack, so what do you do then? And it's very simple. You need to look for legends that fit into all playstyles and can be used on multiple team comps. That way, no matter who your randoms pick or what kind of playstyle they have, you'll always be able to adapt and give yourself the best chance at climbing. The best legends for this are Wraith, Bloodhound, and Valkyrie. They all offer usefulness to the team with being able to solo carry fights and have tons of options for playing. So test them out, see what legends you like the most, and start climbing from there. 
And as much as a team comp is important, there's only so much it can do in game. Team comp is great for getting you set up in a certain position, but that leads right into mistake number two, and players in low elo give up spots or positions way too easily. Some players don't know how important certain areas of the map are and allow themselves to be bullied off of it or get too greedy and chase kills. Look, you're obviously holding a spot because you see potential in it. Either the ring will pull there or it'll be a good spot to rotate once you do know where circle is going. If you're holding it for a reason, why would you allow others to take it from you or run after meaningless kills when you don't need to? If you take a look at your favorite pro Apex player, be it Imperial Hal, Sweet Dream, Sir Del, Tai Chi, no matter who it is, you'll never see them give up a game winning spot unless they absolutely have to. They will fight tooth and nail because they know that fighting for that spot is better than being pushed off and having to scavenge for a new spot. And I see way too many low elo players just roll over and give up a spot as soon as some team shows the slightest bit of aggression towards them. And I'm not done talking about the people that chase kills. In ranked, that has to be one of the worst mistakes you can make. Chasing kills leads to tunnel vision. Tunnel vision leads to you being caught out and killed easily. And that leads to a one-way trip back to the lobby. With proper positioning, kills will come as the game goes on. If you have that end game spot, people are forced to come to you. Then you will be able to pick up kills in the late game stages, so don't throw your game chasing down one measly kill point. It isn't worth it most times and you'll end up dying and being sent out of the game with negative points because of that. Start holding your ground more often and I promise you, you will see amazing results. And speaking of seeing amazing results, the next mistake I want to talk about is players constantly pushing the blame off of themselves. Now I'm talking about the players that make every excuse up as to why they didn't win a game. My team didn't do this, he was on controller, he was on PC, I was lagging, he had X gun. Look, I get it, I used to push blame onto other things because it was easy, no one wants to admit they were the one that messed up, it sucks and no one likes the feeling that they threw the game for the team. But if you are serious about wanting to improve, at Apex and start climbing to higher ranks, you need to start being real with yourself and start looking at what you needed to have done differently in order to have won the fight. Instead of blaming your loss on the fact that they had a shotgun, start looking at it as should you have peaked close range when they had a charged up peacekeeper aimed at the door. No, maybe look for an off angle, fake the res on a teammate to draw your enemy out or even use nades to force them to find a new spot to play. There are always different ways you can approach fights and the best way to improve is to look back at where you went wrong. This is something I personally struggled with in ranked pro scrims and even just messing around on stream in pub games. I found myself trying to blame whatever I could because I didn't like to admit I was the one who messed up. But when I swallowed my pride, started watching my videos back, I realized how stubborn I was being and started to improve. These things are mistakes a lot of players make. It happens to all of us. But by far the biggest mistake you can make is not dropping a thumbs up on the video and smashing that sub button, plus ringing the bell to be notified when we post a new video. We do daily, highly educational Apex Legends content that you do not want to miss out on. Thank you all for watching. Once again, I'm 8 Second Gaming and I will see you in the next one.